data that has been published by the Bank of Ghana has revealed that the value of mobile money transactions have dropped by 3.2 billion Ghana cities. Already, this is before the 11 introduction. This is the Bank of Ghana. Bank of Ghana. Absolute. Now, I have the full document. This is most verifiable data. It's not something that you struggle to get. So if our listeners want it, just go onto the Bank of Ghana website. Okay, you, you, you click on publications. There are a number of tabs up there. You click on publications. You see it there. The disaggregation of that data is what probably I, I will just do briefly so that when you see the, the document, you understand. This e-levy was announced in the presentation of the 2022 budget on the 17th of November, 2021 by the finance minister. Now, when that was announced, the reaction of the public was that, oh, then I'm going to stop using Momo. Do you remember? Some of them said, then I'm going to withdraw all my money. You see, there's something about tax policy. The perception that it creates the moment it is actually announced. That's the same thing we saw with the VAT. The kind of reaction that was greeted, that the VAT was greeted with. Now, after this announcement of the e levy, even before it kicks in, mobile money transactions have dropped by some 3.2 billion in december last year according to the bank of ghana data this report i'm talking about the value of transactions on the country's largest payment platform decreased from 86.1 billion ghana cities to 82.9 billion ghana cities that's the period between november and december 2021 that's about 3.8 percentage points decline. If you compare to before Ken Oforiata announced the introduction of the 1.75 e levy in the 2021 budget on the 17th of November before Parliament, the value of mobile money transactions had actually increased. Ellen, look at this. In October, before that November announcement, in October, mobile money transactions increased to 80 billion, 80 billion in one month in October from 71.7 billion in september so about 9 billion cities increase between september and october that is more than 10 percent point increase between that two month period alone i'm going to show this on facebook so our, our viewers will understand uh, what's going on i have a, a, a bar graph to indicate this what does this mean the attendant effect of all of this is that look we have over 400,000 people who have been employed or who have gained employment as mobile money agents in this country if you and i as a result of this e-levy refuse to use the mobile money platforms what are we doing these people will not be in business contrary to what the finance minister is saying and telling them and assuring them that they're going to be in business despite the e-levy being passed or if the e-levy is passed the reaction to this levy will be people avoiding or finding alternatives of transferring money that means that these mobile money agents who are depending on this mobile money platforms and the transactions that take place on it will certainly be out of business and and this is a no-brainer you don't even need to debate about this Yesterday, they start before us, over 400,000 of them, they said they've written to the finance ministry three times just to have an engagement with the finance ministry about this e-levy. They haven't gotten any response. Three times. And, and as part of any policy introduction, one of the cardinal points in there is engagement, sensitization, consultation. If you fail to consult, you don't expect consensus. That is the evidence of what we are seeing. So if you're talking if you're seeing this three billion reduction, what that means is that some mobile money agents commission has also been denied. Him or her. 